Ich übergebe das Wort an die nächste Rednerin. Bitte. Hello. Uh, I'm happy I will participate in this conversation with you, uh, with all of you that uh, work on this uh, serious, uh, important issue. Uh, I would like, uh, I would uh, ask you to forgive my fluency in English and uh, I will do my best and that's the why I will read the text al although I hate doing it. We live in a state where the hunting of prosperity and growth is dictated by the rules of the market and the capital, of an egocentric approach of survival and absolute private life. Therefore, the development is only assessed from the view of financial terms, ignoring the reflection it has on society and our daily living. Capitalism is rooted in the mentality and perception of people through the definition of our needs, our consuming demands through our status in a, in a social group and our contribution to it. Following this rational, so, sorry. Following this rational, social consensus in policy implementation can be achieved. Given that uh, uh, the second, the, the policy implementation, uh, doesn't conflict with the dominant thinking that capitalism necessitates for its survival and uh, uh, prof uh, uh, proliferation. And why is that? The majority doesn't have the intention to be deprived of the, of the personal privileges and egocentric perception it used to have before an economical crisis, for example. Uh, it doesn't have the intention to evaluate and process the general politics and its contribution uh, to the establishment of capitalism. That's why the majority happily assigns its fate to professional politicians waiting to be saved through negotiations, agreement, and co uh, conciliations, I'm sorry, uh, without taking part to any of these decision-making processes. Sometimes the majority doesn't even know they take place, like for example, free trade, free trade agreements. Uh, most of us only, no, most only wait to judge the result of them uh, as it's promoted by the mass media, although they experience the impact, uh, their impact in the daily life. The scale of the decision-making process as it is now is difficult to approach and comprehend. It strengthens the retreat of the person from participation and demand because it contradicts the belief that even when the person doesn't agree, he can do something for that. In this case, the enemy is very high if it's not invisible. The deadlocks created by the system through its reproductive procedure make the zone of prosperity which correspond uh, to an increasingly smaller part of the population distinct. When in contrast, in, in contrast, it, ex uh, it excludes the rest of, uh, from the provision even of the basic for living. In this state of uncertainty, there are some who imagine beyond capitalism. This issue uh, is, uh, is fundamental and requires all these stages that would lead to the socio-political change we envisage. We shouldn't be limited to a vague denunciation of the current political system, but extend it to the outlining of a different world, a different society, and a different economy, which has to be founded in the present, now. This narration doesn't need to be reinvented. It exists uh, as much in the past as in the present. What is absolutely necessary is to project it comprehensively as a project plan that will be able to invade the central political states and claim the counterpounder which is nothing less than to shape our own policy in accordance to our needs. We believe that in our case we are on a starting point. The social struggle and its momentum in recent years, as well as its, character, uh, its characteristics, allow us to be optimistic despite its temporary retreat in Greece. Uh, the range and the variety of all this movement at the base of society is quantifiable. And what is really important in this, through the given social struggles, the forgotten significance of commons, 
is searched, as well as the principles framing it. As the social state collapsed, autonomous structures, movements and initiatives have emerged all these years where the management of commons started to be on the table of the conversation based on other theoretical principles than those dictated by the market. These commons could be primary production, public health, culture, education, energy, etc. Sectors that have been attacked by the system. And here is the core issue and the challenge for all of us. How can these, let's call them alternatives now, turn to competitive ones to capitalism and not complementary to it? How can this progression from their emergence to their domination in society as, as the prevalent way of organizing? All these initiatives existing today and consist structures of self-management need to go beyond the limits of their faction and their self-sufficiency. All these forces, uh, all these forces of the society who have horizontal structures, solidarity and dissident, uh, uh, dissident struggle, struggle in their core need to transform into a network and not into a political party and outline a future vision throughout the society which will oppose bourgeois democracy and capitalism with a three-dimensional objective, autonomy, self-sufficiency and equality. This triptych uh, is not chosen by chance. We are a group of people with presence in the social struggles of the past and the present and political action based on anarchist and anti-authoritarian premises willing to overcome chronic rigidities and weaknesses of this area. And all this year we are working on the creation of an horizontal network of all these structures, collectives and groups of the political and social field that are trying to actualize projects concerning autonomy, self-sufficiency and equality. A network that would be the base of their cooperation aiming not only to cover the faults of the system as a complementary mechanism, but to constitute a, a new political and social project which will transform the society from a passive recipient to an act, from a passive recipient to an active regulator of its life and prosperity. A project that will include the management of commons, the equal access to social provision, the implementation of the ideas through creativity and not the inertia this system causes, regardless of the political party in power. So, we are talking about a different administration model, the one described by the libertarian confederalism, trying to see how we could start constructing it uh, in the current political context in Greece. This model is based on the total decentralization of power. Decisions related to almost every aspect of our life are currently taken without us and away from us, so our capability to influence them is practically non-existent. <laughs> Consequently, if we want to change the development of events, the goal can be no other than to regain the capability to decide on the matters that affect us and control their actualization. In this context, an autonomous society cannot be other than decentralized so that to achieve the collective participation in the decision-making process and the cover of its actual needs. To provide this ability, decision-making uh, 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 decision must return to these subsets, communities, neighborhoods, uh, down to the level of the region. Only on such scale, autonomy and direct democracy are applicable. Only the residents of, the, of an area being aware of the local issues, the special characteristics, for example, landscape particularities, cultural values, etc., and in consequence, the special needs of an area, can take the decisions that concern them and plan the appropriate management of them. Nowadays, we have been deprived of this ability and local government is nothing more than a tool for the implementation and enforcement of the states and the special interest decisions, thus making us slaves. 
We could replace the central decisions with people's assemblies and councils of their representatives at the levels of community, municipality, country, region, so we may again become masters of our land. Institutions directly linked to values are generally acceptable terms and mechanisms that regulate all functions of society. An autonomous society has no choice but to review and renounce partially or completely those institutions that cut off its capability to be autonomous, especially when institutions are exactly those chains that hold it captive. The acquisition of such potential is determined by a fundamental condition, that of self-sufficiency. You can't obtain autonomy without having reached and aiming at self-sufficiency. Basic principle of capitalism is to create systems of reliance in all domains, something which, as I said, affects, uh, affects in consequence the governance of an area. Our food is dominated by a multinational corporation who control almost the entire production process, transportation and distribution, from seeds, fertilizers and pesticides, their quality and their provision, everything is on hands whose only aim is their profit at our expense, with total disregard of any consequences. Housing is on the handling of international banking groups that have no moral qualms throwing us on the street. Energy, water and general natural resources on which we are so dependent are already, at the are, are already or at the process to get on the control of transitional groups. These are merely some examples of our most basic dependencies as well as our basic commons. So it's our duty for us, but especially for future generations, to resist and reverse the situation which threaten us with complete submission and environmental destruction. Again, there are some conditions in order to do that. The most crucial is to redefine our needs in every aspect of our life and clarify what high standards of living mean, uh, mean for us something uh, which do not overlap with what consumerism has imposed as needs. Having that in mind, we can work on another model of agricultural production, livestock breeding and fishing. Indus uh, industrialization of food, uh, intensified monocultures, chemical fertilizers, pesticides, farming and battery industries, Industrial scale fishing should be replaced by traditional and well balanced methods with respect to the environment and the bio, uh, biodiversity, safeguarding a sustainable prosperity for all and not for the, pro the big profits for the companies. Having that in mind, we can work, to, uh, we can work on and support structures of solidarity, uh, of solidarity economy, which is based on other ethical principles guaranteeing better working conditions and the aim of production is the cover of the needs of society. That's something we have forgotten nowadays, being alienated from the production places, when the only contact with them is through the stall of the supermarket. This has reduced our consciousness about the quality of goods and the conditions they have been produced in, for example, working conditions, the environmental consequences, etc. Energy production is the field that, like nothing else, has affected the planet. Wars, environmental and social disasters are the result of the increased demand and generally the modern way of life. Especially in a state of economical crisis, big industrial projects on that field are promoted as a guarantee for the growth of the economy of a country, or some of them as green and friendly for the environment. It's essential to apply the proper methods and technologies in order to drastically reduce energy consumption and change the way we manage it. We need to adapt a decentralized model in the frames of self-production which will not conflict other productive and social activities but will be under a proper and inclusive spatial planning and the enactment of limits. The limits 
that assemblies will make, will put. Scientific techniques, knowledge and tools acquired from constant, uh, constantly evolving technology are funded by the capitalist system towards a direction that can reproduce it and strengthen it. But knowledge alone, but knowledge alone doesn't have a sign. It changes depending on its use and on whose benefit all this knowledge exists and is shared for. Consequently, techniques that are used extensively in all the fields, energy, production, medicine, uh, uh, and are paten patented by big companies could work to our advantage if could work to our advantage if we take the control upon science and transform the research from a servant of capital to social research. <laughs> However, under, uh, under no circumstances, an autonomous region should become isolated and independent, having secured a heaven of aut autonomy for itself. Relations, uh, relations with other uh, regions should be based on solidarity and mutual tolerance in order to overlap certain needs to share the management of common issues or resources, but also to be able to defend themselves together against internal and external, uh, external threats. These needs shall be covered by the Federation of Autonom Autonomous Regions, where all regions are equally involved, which will replace the Parliament and where decisions will not be taken without having first the approval of the local communities. The active and equal participation of everyone in the decision making constitutes the basic element for the strong defense of commons when threatened, given that through this process they are already considered the property of everyone. So every local node, I mean region, can be transformed to a strong defense zone and all these under a network could compose a strong political front opposite the neoliberal model which dominates. In conclusion, the, uh, the revolutionary prospect is something we all want uh, soon to emerge. Different interpretations of the term, however, clearly characterize differently the practices to be followed. Some comprehend it as a historical juncture that will suddenly, suddenly put into operation our projects and cite true revolutionary practices so they are able to wait that moment forever. Others comprehend revolutionary prospect more as a process, a slow but steady struggle that will bring closer this moment. We believe that everyday practices may contribute to the creation of the historical conjecture of invasion without, through, uh, uh, without the questioning the importance of direct social conflicts. The triptych was chosen as our main project to serve as, uh, to serve as a spearhead of this process. Of course, the need for its re realization and diffusion is not arising from the collapse of the welfare state, nor the economical crisis in Greece. The structures that we want to set up and support are not trying to substitute those of welfare state. They are structures that operate at present based on our set of values and ideological and political codes. Our project is not a case that is constantly appointed to a promising future, but a way of life and an ongoing effort to their diffusion and consolidation. Moreover, the continuous quest for autonomy, self-sufficiency and equality, not only by political struggles, but also by supporting, founding them structur uh, structurally today, will be the education necessary to overthrow the existing social, political and economic establishment. It will be that education which everyone will acquire to be able to oppose the oppressive social structures of the state. At the same time, this is a necessary ingredient so that a complete inversion is achieved. Only if grassroots political and social structures become factional at present, will they be able to, cons to consolidate later in a social political reform. Finally, it should be understood that our projects cannot be fully realized within the capitalist system organization, as they are absolutely antagonistic. There can be no freedom islands, not only because the system itself will try to eliminate, 
because they are overruling it, but also there will always be a correlation with what would deny consistency as to their content from our structures. To outplace it, we should actively defend our projects while trying in various ways to dismantle relations, networks and imposed organization that capitalism causes in all aspects of our daily life. Okay, danke. Danke, Penny.